Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where I was just going through the journal and looking at my dossiers and I am just ugh. plus I have to go to the council well I don't have to you actually could totally just ignore the council um, but you won't get your specter status uh, what is the word reinstigated I don't know um, but I really want to get, I was trying to decide what order to do things in, but it would be really cool to get the DLC characters early this time instead of later, but also I'm like, oh my gosh, I know who that is, I'm like, I want that, I know who that is, and we have to get the professor first. We don't, oh yeah, so we have to get, uh, so this is the first wave of dossiers, um, Samara and Thane are in the second wave of dossiers, and they're my favorite. Uh, like uh, characters to have with me which isn't like super balanced because neither one of them has any technical ability <laughs> we just be a biotic super squad but um I think you have, do you have, I think you have to get the prof I know you have to get the professor first but like I think if you get the professor and like one other then the second wave of dossiers unlocks interesting interesting but yes, um, let's talk to Edie. We... You know what I could go for right now? A hamburger. Uh, Not fat grown, an actual honest to god dead cow. With horse riding. <laughs> With those. Yes, Shepard. Let's talk to Edie. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive. <laughs> I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Uh, also, I just have to keep, I have to say again, like, ev we're, everybody is so beautiful. Like, Shepard looks amazing. <laughs> like, just the graphical quality is so nice. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilizations, put it out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, also the monitoring devices. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Uh, uh-huh. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? Building my baby. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents you from answering that question. I forgot. What do you mean? Although I have less control than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. Hmm. I actually. What is it? I think they had some sort of spy, but I actually can't remember. It's okay. I'll figure it out as I go along. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Mm hmm. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. 
Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. I think, was there something else? How is Cerberus, Cerberus organized? Is organized? Each cell's agents are led by a no. single okay. operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. Let's discuss something else. Ready. This is just something you can ask in every room. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge, where the navigator plots our FTL vectors, and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. That's why I did it. Because <laughs> I'm <laughs> a shepherd. shepherd who has commanded the Normandy in the past, and you've been on ships since she was like 18, and in the Alliance is like, what's this room? Oh. That's all. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, Shepard. Let's talk about I want to know Do you have a specific that. inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Morag does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. <laughs> the airlock is ajar. That's all for now. <laughs> Logging you out, Shepard. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah, you can, you can open and close these. Ooh. Anyway, it's weird to be wearing such casual clothes. I might go put on something more formal. Just for a bit. Have we chatted with people? Oh my gosh, I can't remember. It has been a teensy bit of a while. Did I check my... Wow, look at all these friends. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, yes, Anderson. On the off chance rumors are true and you're actually alive and you should come talk to me at the Citadel. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we've reached a deal with Zaid. He's been involved in some of the best known and utterly unknown military operations in the Terminus systems. I'll find him in Omega. Don't worry about his speed. I've taken care of that personally. Uh, Project Firewalker, Commander, the MSV Rosalie, a survey ship with Cerberus connections that's gone missing. The survey team was field testing a new prototype. The Hammerhead Plants and Explosion Rover! Give me the hand. Well, the hammerhead is not as good as the Mako, but, you know, it's serviceable. In addition, scientist Dr. Manuel Case and blah, 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 their research. We need you to find the ship, survey team, and doctors. Uh-huh. Uh, Normandy crash. Uh, that's a DLC. Oh, my gosh. Our scans in the... From Admiral Hackett. I shouldn't be able to have access to this yet. <laughs> Scans in the Amada system, turn us to like C, final location of the wreckage of the Normandy. We thought this news might be important to you, but we also have the ulterior motive. The Alliance would like to honor the Normandy at the monument to be built on the site of the ship's final resting place. <laughs> My baby. We'd like to invite you to place the monument and be the first to walk on the site. There are still 20 crew members, unaccounted for from the attack on the Normandy. If you find any signs of these lost crewmen, we ask that you report to the Alliance so that those heroes' families might find some closure. They're like, freaking, who was it? Jacob, I think, was the one that said, um, oh yeah, most everybody survived except for, like, a couple people, and these guys are like, 20 people are still missing. It's like, eh, it's a bit of a, I think that's a developer discrepancy. Um, I remember I got this DLC, when, when I first got the DLC, I got it kind of late in the game, and I went to the Normandy crash site right before going on the suicide mission, and it was a very touching, like, I want to say, like, awe-inspiring experience. Maybe, like, a little, like, was it, like, like spiritual? Not quite. Uh, what is the word I'm trying to think of here? Um, poignant moment. Poignant is probably better than, like, awe-inspiring. Very heartfelt moment. Very, very, very bittersweet. Because, truly, I don't. I've probably like overemphasized this, but I have I was very attached to the initial Normandy and like seeing her in pieces and like getting to build the monument there was like meant a lot to me. But also like it's just weird that only just now are they finding it. Like I get it, like it's a bureaucratic nightmare to be in something like the Alliance, but like I don't know, man. <laughs> and like you can't spend too much on your dead heroes, you know, you gotta move on, but still, I don't know. 
It occurred to our armor technicians that you may not want to show your face everywhere you go. They sent, they sent by a hood that surfers issues to its covert operatives. It has additional microframe functions that you might like. The hood's in... <gasps> what? Overlord. Ooh, that's a DLC. One of ourselves went off the grid without explanation. It's a highly volatile technology, which, as far as I can tell, as far as I have heard, Overlord has not aged very well um, as, as, a, as an idea. Um, but it's, it's a really sad one in a lot of ways, honestly. Like, barring any, like, political correctness potentially issues, well, not really barring those, it, it was always a very volatile idea, you know, um, and very sad. So, we'll be doing it. I like all the DLCs for this game had an incident involving the Geth at one of our outposts in the Skelian Verge. You're not blah blah blah. They waged a highly successful battle. La 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 la. And they have a new technology now since the unit is being reassigned for some rest and relaxation. I get to take custody of the weapon in the meantime. Haha. -ha. So they got it. They won it. But no, I get to have it. But at least they're like, you know, they, they got the credit for it and everything. But they're going to go get some rest. Gone through plenty of tests, indicates it overloads kinetic barriers and synthetic enemies particularly well. <laughs> They're like, you're the guinea pig. Kasumi, a great effort and cost. We've tracked down a master thief, uh, Kasumi Goto, and convinced her to work with you. Uh, she is unequaled. Yeah, yeah. We import the password. Silence is golden. My money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for updating your medical documentation. Your status has been changed from deceased to alive. After deducting a modest administration fees for closing the file, the subsequent change in status and reactivation of your account, you have a remaining balance of 100,000 credits. Ah, okay, that's how much money I have. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Commander, you've received a yeah, new message well, at your private terminal. Yeah, well, I already took care of it. I haven't gotten to talk with people yet. Let's go talk to Jacob. Jacob, where you at? Let's see if we do the weird flirting thing. Oh, also, this is my... Is that Edie? Yeah, it's Edie. Let's go to check my weapons loadout. Give me the... Uh, I have to switch out the grenade launcher. The grenade launcher is good against everything. The arc projector... Oh, why not? Let's give it a whirl. It's so tiny. Why don't I have an actual... Oh, I just don't have options. That's what it is. Oh, that's right. I have to... Oh, my gosh. I have to... Oh, no. Oh, my... Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness me. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. I'm a Debbie Downer. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk. And you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the collector threat is real and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered. Look at that the tight or suit. Will be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. Right. <laughs> Look at that butt. I don't know. All these suits are so tight <laughs> for everybody. It's like, oh, Miranda's suit is like a second skin, more like a first skin, and it is truly. It's it's a little excessive, but hey, at least at least Jacob's also showing off all his assets, you know. <laughs> oh man, I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Ah, the upper option can be so boring sometimes. Uh, can we chat? Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing <laughs> this talk, Shepard. Let's do this later. Uh, I understand you made quite an impact after you left the Alliance. Miranda and I stopped a Batarian plan to release a biological agent on the Citadel. That's when I first met her. It took us out to the Nemean Abyss and back. Save the Citadel like you, but what's the same? A good deeds like pissing yourself in dark pants? Warm feeling, but no one Shepard's like, yeah. <laughs> the whole thing was hushed, like they're good at doing. 
but I know what I did, and I'm proud of it. He's like, I don't want to talk, I don't want to force these talks, and I'm like, let's chat. What do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full complement. We don't stand a chance without the right specialists on side. Anything else, Commander? What do you think of the Wait, state oh, of the Wait, oh, wrong button. Anything else, Commander? Um, how we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? Probably the same as everyone else. I just want to figure out what the real threat actually is. Got no problem with risk. I just need a clear goal. Anything else, Commander? Bye. We'll talk later. Commander. Commander. We can go in here, but we can't go in there. Because we don't have the doctor yet. There's Edie. This is our meeting room. Meow. Right now, we can only access the armory. And forever friggin'. Oh, let's go look in my room. These loading screens are so quick. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to kill a bunch of fish. <laughs> no, I'm gonna try to so hard to keep them alive. But oh my gosh, I'm so I love the aquarium. It's so fun. Oh, uh, let's see. Where is it? Yeah, I'm trying it. There, okay, there it is. So that's always a picture of your former lover that they have graciously put in your room, which is just like a little weird. Oh, also, I'm so excited for this little friend to get here. Um, private terminal. Ooh. Oh my gosh, just go down. Okay. And then this is just how we keep track of our achievement. And, oh yeah, music. Okay. It's so loud. Give me my helmet. Casual appearance. I need... I need something slightly... I think that's the one I liked. Yeah, I like this one. Mm -hmm. Wait! Oh, we just changed the song. Okay. Oh! -oh. Novaria. Also Novaria? Citadel? Don't remember. Club? Okay. So the recon hood looks dumb. Doesn't look like a hood at all. Miranda. So it gives you a little list of who all's in each crew deck, but look at this. Also, my room is in the most uh, risk is in the riskiest um, part of the freaking ship. But look how shiny! Look how shiny! Oh my gosh! Watch this! Watch this! <gasps> what? Oh. Yeah, yeah. This restroom is on the starboard side of the ship. There we go. <laughs> I, uh, it's so funny that they they thought to put in bathrooms. I mean, it makes sense. No privacy whatsoever in these in the ship. But. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Oh, let's just get that whole little sub story going. That's gonna break my heart. Uh, that's where Cassidy lives. Uh, this is where Thay lives, and that's where Samara lives. Oh, let's go meet an old friend. Oh my gosh. Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. Oh yeah. Uh, Real nice, Mr. Gardner. 
<gasps> Chakwas! Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. What, did they de ageify her? She usually has wrinkles. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Yeah. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? Yeah, it's huge. After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static. Too boring. <laughs> I want to be Jacquelos when I grow up. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. Oh, thanks. I don't know if I deserve that, but truly Shepard does. I, me personally, I'm like, I don't deserve that trust, but Shepard does. Shepard, Shepard's the kind of woman I, I would love to be. <laughs> There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skellian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. I'm glad she's back, but it is a bit like she was a career woman, you know, and so it's like it, t it would take a lot and be a huge decision for her to like change her mind. But also, like if she gets pigeonholed into a role she doesn't want, she's a strong, you know, she a woman who knows her own mind. Like she'll go where she can get what she where she feels she'll do the most, you know. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Now, Chuck I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Chuck was. I don't know why it does that awkward, like, stare at the back of her head thing. That's where Edie lives, but we don't get to go in there for now. Is there? There's not a. Just like the little things, like you may never like look in detail at like all this stuff, but like it's such a like beautiful little freaking, like everything looks, like, like somebody designed this like med bay to look like a med bay, you know? Like I don't know, like. I'm not saying it very well, but like in the art books and stuff I've read, like trying to design something like this, right? Like you take, you take the combination of like the aesthetic of the game and like, you know, futuristic ideas combined with like what we currently have to create things like this. Like, I don't know what this does, but it certainly looks like it belongs in a medical suite, you know? Although also at some point I'm supposed to be able to unlock the ability to modify my face <laughs> as I see fit, I think. I could be wrong. Look at this. Look at this little tiny galley. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Thanks. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non mission critical electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. Yeah. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals? I wash my hands. Most of the time. <sighs> this ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel. And I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. <laughs> oh boy. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. 
The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. <laughs> It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. I mean, we're going to have a, a multifaceted squad, truly. Like, our actual squad's going to be pretty diverse. If you just pigeonhole yourself into one group, you're going to lose uh, a lot of perspective, you know? So... How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. Do you have everything you need? I make do, but have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? <laughs> I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. Oh, You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. Come on, man. I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Oh, the lighting just changed. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. That's where the Archangel stays. Um, this is what used to be my room, and Miranda has taken it. Oh, uh, do we have time? Uh, we might have time. Let's see. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Hmm. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But it isn't, because uh, that's the Alliance, technically. <laughs> well, I guess each one has like their own military, but there's like a specialized military group within each one. Truly, the actual answer is probably the N7s, uh, which Shepard is a member of, technically. Uh, and also, all those were are government-sanctioned groups, and Cerberus is not government-sanctioned. But those organizations yes. are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded, and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific but we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your accident were mostly part of our military division. Mostly science. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. I crushed those, those groups because they were doing terrible things. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. Mm. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. This is a, well, a 180. Well, you probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. 
What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. It's true. Like, everything about her has been genetically modified for, like, superiority, you know, and, like, um, cutting edge, essentially. Including her looks, which is something that, like, anybody, man, woman, or whoever, can use to their advantage. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Um, I've never felt like the game... The game didn't... So the game did weird things like butt shots with Miranda, right? And, like, tried to sexualize her that way. But interestingly enough, the dialogue that she has has never... She's never been a femme fatale, which is which I feel like she could have fallen into very easily. She's very much the... Like, she's not even, like, an icy femme fatale, you know? Like, anything she does, she never uses her looks to, like, get with you if you're the male shepherd. Um, you know, she, like, never lose, uses her looks to, like, get her way on missions. She's much more likely to shoot somebody in the face, you know? Or, like, use, like, like underhanded, like, you know, c clever, not underhanded necessarily, but clever methods. And I've always appreciated that about Miranda and, like, whoever wrote her is that, like, she's not... She's not this, like, beautiful, like, you know, skin-deep femme fatale who's like, yeah, I'm super smart and biotically enhanced and, like, that, but, like, just uses, like, her looks to get everything done or, like, tries to use her looks to, like, get into your good graces. You know, she is a very pragmatic, practical woman who uses, like, I think her looks, like, in other scenarios, but, like, never really does that in this game. Um, even though, like, I don't know, like, I... I've always, I've always liked that, that she does not just, like, single-faceted, you know, that she's, she uses, like, all her, like, vast array <laughs> of what she can, what she can bring to the table to, to get the job done. So, uh, I've always liked her for that reason. So, thanks, devs, for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call this one here. Sorry if it went a little bit long, but we're gonna say a really quick thank you to my patrons. I wanna say an extra special thank you, or I wanna say I wanna say thank you to everyone, but especially to my sapling patrons, uh, Scalamonger, thank you so much, and Reese Galita, thank you so much. I appreciate both of you a ton. And I wanna give an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is my tree tier patron, and who's just the greatest, honestly, and I appreciate you a lot. So thank you again, everybody. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.